Okay, that should work. Right now, that is the next uh, deck that I want to present. And as you can see, this is uh, gonna be a pretty much a, a legendary theme deck, um, which is quite quite fun to play. Let me check the the audio. I don't hear anything right now. Um, okay, I think it's yeah, it's better now. So this is basically. Um, based on the buff that John grants for legendary units. Um, all of them will just take 50% less damage, which is quite nice. And uh, yeah, I am starting with Woodweavers because there is no legendary T1 card, which makes sense because it would probably somewhat break the game as you have like a neutral orb at the beginning or something. I don't know because that pretty much depends on the first spawn. Um, but yeah, this is why we have the Windweavers, and then we will just switch over to these legendary units. I don't have any damage spells in there, so every tick of damage that uh, that will come into the fight fight will be based uh, based on our legendary cards here. Um, yeah, this is more of a fun deck, I guess. It's it's uh, not not from competitive nature or anything, so keep that in mind so we may maybe a little slow on that on that, on that run here. Uh, we may end up struggling a little bit depending on what opponents we do have to face and I think this will be too much. I don't have search of light in my deck so I will retreat for now. Because I don't want to lose any viewers any early on here. That would be quite bad because we don't have the supply entry to to keep them alive and stuff. So, pretty much pulling back to our tier 1 orb here. Getting rid of that squad, getting rid of that squad, healing up again, and then we will occupy the tier 1 position. I think we killed a good amount of units already, and since there is no spawn camp, this will be a pretty easy task. And the attack waves will be heading from this base and this base. Here's no spawn camp, so only attack waves from that spot, so I don't have to defend my tier 1 for now. And if I get to build up my 2-2 immediately, I don't have to uh, worry about any income waves onto, onto that orb. Which is uh, very nice, because defending all the time like against these annoying annoying guys is a little stressful. So there we go, it's just the shamans, the spawn wave, and one archer squad here. Uh, don't focus that tower here. Maybe these guys in the first place, because they deal a lot of damage once they reach my wind weavers. Yeah, that worked. That worked well so far. Now we're gonna bring in these power wells here. I hope we don't pull the spawn with the first with the first wave here. That can happen because the distance between the tier two and tier three spawn is always very very close on random PVE. Pretty much mentioned this uh, already, I guess. But uh, yeah. Fire tier 2, I think, is the best choice right here because I don't make much use of unholy power. And, well, I don't make much use of this enchant either, so it pretty much doesn't matter to be honest. Um, but in tier 3, it matters. We need the fire orb in tier 3 because we, we want our shrine of war for, for the void return. So we can pretty much spam support. Okay, there, there comes the wave, but that's fine because our orb is already in construction, so any spawn waves that come from the newly activated camps will be heading for my tier 2 orb, so my tier 1 orb is still fine. Bringing in the Viridia here, as sadly it's just on upgrade 1, so I can just summon one tree spirit if I want to. Um, with the with the upgraded 3 Viridia you can spawn 2, and if you kill one of them you could probably use the uh, ability again and then you have 3. That is the, the maximum amount you could you could gain with the Viridia on the last upgrade. I'm gonna oink these two bandit maulers. And I'm gonna save this archer squad here because I don't want to lose anything here. Yeah, the spawn is down, so we can pretty much retreat and fight against these guys over here. We can already bring in the Rogan Kale to apply the damage buff here as well. So we get like plus 25% damage onto our units, which is very nice. And gives us a clean way to advance to our tier 3 for now. So 
not not needing the abilities right now from from our legendary units here. Well, the case is fine. So gonna occupy this this bandit tent in the end. <laughs> and yeah, there is our tier three. Give it give it to me here. Nice. Okay. Mm, how many would we have still have? Like 10, okay. Mm. Since we are playing a legendary deck, I'm gonna kill them. It would be unfair to use them because we have such such a nice uh, nice choice of tier 3 cards that we could use here. So, yeah. Let's, let's wait for that. So that worked worked out. Three spirits. It's gonna be my primary tank right now. I, I think what do we need now? I think we need Shadow Ops for the third orb because we need two Shadow Ops for the Nether Warp. This is part of the deck because the Ravenheart is pretty slow, so I pretty much want to have a have a speed boost for it with a, with the Nether Warp to to get it into the fights. Um and there comes the next wave. Sadly, my cards are not fully upgraded. We don't have upgrades onto Jarn and Brannock, which is a little bit painful because especially Brannock is just at 3.4k three, 3 in terms of HP, which is not that great, to be honest. And do we bring in the mole here? I think we do. Gonna wait for something else here. Mm, probably Moon. I think she's been cool. And yeah, let's go. I think we're gonna just stampede through that. To get rid of the spawn here. Just need to pull together here because otherwise I may lose one of my units. Especially the Viridia is pretty fragile, so yeah, that's what it ends. She's nearly dead already. So we're gonna heal her with our moon. Oh come on! Nice. That worked. No. No, you're not gonna kill my units. Gonna pull my units together here right now because I want want the regeneration from our Viridia here. Most probably gonna deal with the turrets with ease. So that worked. Getting a Mo here again, and we bring the Santa Claus. And I'm just waiting for the next spawn wave here because I want to want to catch it right now, so I don't have to deal with it later on. As I am pretty limited in the stuff that I can play. Because I can just use all my cards once, which is not optimal for for the spawn waves. Gonna just hand out some of these gifts using this one already onto the radio. Don't want my units to die, you know. Uh, I think there's no spawn coming yet, so okay, there's there's some some units. And we're gonna play the Branock. I think we we can. Oh yeah, that is uh, what I expected to. Gonna give the other gift here. The Brannock has no one already, so I can pretty much port him next to my closest orb, which is the tier one orb. That is not how this should have worked. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Getting some damage buff from a mole to my units here. <laughs> we let this Brenno block up. Okay, I'm gonna use Oink gear. Wow, that was uh, not what I exactly expected with that strategy. Oh boy, I really need 
have one here. I think I'm gonna use the ability, I hope it is not too late. Oh come on, don't be stuck. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm gonna use the oink. I, I don't want to lose my, my tier 3 up, that would be too, too devastating for me. So, that is what I wanted. <laughs> not that. Not that orb. But, uh, yeah. It's closer to the middle position here. Interesting, interesting. So, I'm not sure if Santa worked this way before, before they... Um, remade the game. I feel like the gift was gone when we used it and then you could ch simply hand out new ones because now I have pretty much the healing gift forever. Which is interesting but not not what I remember here. Mm, I think we need to go to A monument four. is under attack. Yeah that's that's pretty bad now. A power well is under attack. I need to walk for for such a such a long time. You know? I thought I would have gone that 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 orb a little uh, a little earlier, so I don't have to walk the the entire way with my Brennock. And um, since well, when I played it at you before, oh, I can port him this time. I'm gonna use revenge anyways to protect the orb. So um, when I built up my T4 orb, the the spawn waves will head to to, the, to that one because it's the last orb that I built up. And this orb is 100 HP. This revenge was quite important, I think. I think it would have died otherwise. So I will wait for for Joran because he's pretty much essential for for my tier uh, tier four army here, as uh, as he applies the damage reduction buff onto the legendary units. There we go. Is this applying to the tree spirit as well? No, it's not. Or it is, it is, it is. Maybe it is a neutral unit, that makes sense. So now we will go into the fight and uh, later on we will make sure that we also get down the... Uh, get down the raven in the fight. Bring Brannock here. If there's any low unit we can always use the Santa gift. Unless the units are paralyzed, which is bad. Uh, also using the moon heal here, just just want to keep my units alive. Um, do I need this? I don't think I do need the stampede. So, let's bring in the shrine of war. I think we will get a very very high amount of void returns at some point because we have a limited amount of cards that we can play. We can just use the raven hearts to, to finish off our unit composition. So. I think that will be quite important. Mm, I, I hope that my Brennock can can go back to, to my tier 4 orb with the, with the red uh, gift from Santa. Be quite important. Let's go through that with Mo. And fight. Nice. Not much, I think fine without using any additional abilities then we need to catch any spawn waves that come that come to my orb. Shrine of War isn't ready yet but I think I need to use the gift here. And my John has no healing gift. Give it to him Santa let's go. I'm gonna use that to regenerate a little bit of HP. Yeah there, there we go. And we can use the Raven Hearts. Shrine should be ready quite soon. There we go. Let's just pour it. I mean, uh, this way we can also pour the, the remaining units from the bandits. Buildings. And, uh, I need 
Push because we, we killed the majority of, uh, of units that, that were in here, part of the problem. Oh, wait. oh I need to uh, change the shortcuts, yeah, that's right. Because we have an extra ability to the center, center gift. So I think we can already also use here the Brannock ability to destroy some buildings. So it's, it's quite nice. Did we lose Viridia? I think we did. That's bad. Yeah, Viridia is definitely the most fragile unit in my in my composition here, so I really need to make make sure that she she stays alive. Uh, how far can we go? Uh, not that far. Uh, it's something, it's especially for the Raven, it's, it's it's important to get into the fight. It's it's so slow. Oh yeah, there's this late monster, so let's, let's do some sort of fight. Yeah, I would like to use the abilities of my units, but they are not the top, so it's good bad. Can I use... Oh no, it's not bad. I think we're gonna port the out of the turret range again, so you see some of that stuff. There we go. Whoops, <laughs> didn't teleport. <laughs> That's interesting. Gonna use the ball here. Yeah, the slave master pretty much prevents my uh, my units from using their abilities, so that is uh, quite unfortunate. I'm gonna pour it. A monument is under oh, no. attack. It didn't work. Oh wait, the teleporting ability prevented my Brenna from teleporting. That's interesting. But I think it can port the Raven Hunt, right? Yeah. There we go. It's gonna deal with that, that units here. <laughs> I, I, I think I do have a lot, a lot of energy. I don't even need the Shrine of War. Oh yeah, I, I nearly forgot. Let's bring down the Incredible Mo here to further reduce the damage. I think it fits pretty well into the theme here because it's also a legendary card. So let's bring it in. But I think we won't get to use the ability before that. Then before the last fight. Oh maybe it's a common walker. Huh? Uh, let's get out of it first of all and wait for our uh, for our support here. We get to fight some units here, which is nice. Yeah, the common walker is coming, that's good, that's good. There's our Raven Heart. Oh boy, it's so slow! Which one is low here? It's, oh, it's just the tree spring. I'm gonna heal it anyways. It's good. Just making sure that we can. Getting the mo buff here. So the ability from the lost movie again is bad. Jorn is not taking too much damage here. Yeah, the, the aura is quite bad for, for my small units. They're getting hit hard. It's bad. Getting the unholy hero onto the Raven Heart here to get off more ability damage. Oh, 
Sahne. Buff and then something to that. Something next uh, ability from drawing here. There we go. That's it worked out. Flying the Rogan buff again. Just for uh, for one last for one last push here. Let's go. And my game crashed. Well, I guess that's that's it for for the game. So thanks, thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next videos.